Let's see. I'm guessing this will probably require level 70. Holy. Oh my gosh. I was so wrong. 48? That is insane, dude. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily fully enchant your sword, armor, and other things like that. And it's the really the literal easiest way possible and to save you guys the most struggle, headaches, and levels possible as well. So you guys probably didn't know, but I made a really amazingly useful spreadsheet that you guys can go down in the description right now and go check out and it's really awesome if you guys are wanting to enchant your weapons now the spreadsheet contains all the information with all the enchantments in the game are they craftable what recipe they're in what collection they're in how much it costs to craft them using the vendors and it also provides you check boxes so that you can check off if you have that if you're wanting that if you can craft it and other information like that and it's also sorted from the highest level enchantments down to the lowest level enchantments and also sorted by groups such as swords bows armors and things like that i made it this way because i would always be like like level 100 i'd be like all right let me go for the highest level enchantment first and what is that and then i'd always have to sort through all the different enchantments and then i'd finally come along and see okay this is the highest level enchantment another really cool thing about the spreadsheet is if you hover over the names of the enchantments it actually says exactly what they do it's also color coordinated if some enchantments just aren't usually used or kind of looked at as bad such as knockback it's also labeled like that as well i have removed thorns and i've also removed fire aspect and all those other things that people didn't like to use before because according According to Hypixel, they have fixed these enchantments to not be annoying and not make those dead frames anymore, or whatever they used to be called. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button and hit that subscribe button because I'm always making useful content for you homies. Anyway, in this chest right here, I have all of the enchantments. Some of them crafted, some of them directly from the enchantment table, and then also have an end sword. Now, if you guys didn't see Tim Dio's video from a couple of days ago, pretty much if I hit with the aspect of the end and then I quickly swap to my aspect of the dragons, basically the aspect of the end will do all the damage and stuff like that that the aspect of the dragons does but pretty much if i use my rapid run-ins and i use the end sword what i'll do is i'll shoot this because now instead of just bow spamming on the dragon you actually hold it in and cock it all the way back so i'll shoot and then i'll swap right to my end sword and what the end sword does is it deals a hundred percent damage to ender dragons ender min and ender mites now another really amazing thing is that i can fully enchant it get critical on it get end slayer on it get execute on it get first strike on it get so many more enchantments on it that you can get on swords rather than bows and with all those on there it'll actually do a lot more damage like the enchantments on the swords are way better than they are on the bows plus 100 percent damage to ender dragons i mean that's like dragon hunter 5 right there probably really really good really really insane and i definitely want to test it out so what we're going to be doing today is fully enchanting this end sword now the same way that you enchant all weapons is literally the same as long as it's a sword it's always going to be the same so if you guys want to do this with an aspect of the dragons you can follow this guide along as well and do the exact same thing now what i did do is i combined all my books together which is why it says anvil uses one so i combined end slayer four together i combined cubism four together to make five and that's why all these things say like anvil use one on it because i crafted these and then i combined them together that's what you guys should do to start out with and then after that you're going to want to sort these into different things that you're going to kind of combine into one book so pretty much the first book that we're going to put on here is going to have four different enchantments this might not be the most efficient way but it's still better than the majority of the ways so hopefully you guys can follow along and i'm going to try my best to explain this as simply as i can basically we're going to combine end slayer and scavenger and sharpness together and then after we combine them together we're going to combine them with cubism then we're going to do the same thing for execute and lethality but we're also going to combine cleave and looting together so um yeah this is how this is all the setup that i have these are all the books that i have you guys can try this yourself it's a little bit confusing but it'll still turn out better than just throwing random enchantments on there and just doing it randomly anyway let's get these three books out together and then let's start to combine them all right so 21 levels there we go and then we combine this book with cubism now you could flip flop these around and you could make it with only 25 levels but the problem is is that if we do it like that this will become an anvil use three book which will cost more to put onto the sword so if we do it like this then it should only become back to an anvil use two because it's getting combined into cubism so 42 levels and then we now have anvil use two like i said so we're saving a couple of levels by doing that so now i'm combining execute and lethality now that we can combine them we're going to put that book onto the right and then we're going to combine that with looting the reason we're doing this is because we're trying to preserve the anvil usage so instead of going to three it'll reset back to two because this is at one 
So now this is at anvil uses too. And then you're supposed to combine this with scavenger, but we already have scavenger taken care of. So I'm going to combine this with cleave again, putting cleave on the left side so that it only goes up to anvil uses too. Now that book's finished. That book's finished. You don't really want more than four enchantments on one book. I'm pretty sure. So try to get up to four and keeping the anvil uses at two. You'll be pretty set. Now we're going to combine all these enchantments together, but we're going to have to level up a little bit more for that as well. So because of how big of a book this already is, we might come into some complications because there was not, you know, protection put on there. So we might have some issues. This book might cost a little bit more than we wanted, but if you guys do craft everything, you won't have to worry about it that much. Just sort of like this book has smite on it. It's going to add another enchantment, which is going to make it cost even more. So, you know, if you do craft all the enchantments, this is the best way and the easiest way to do it. But if you do enchant some books then you might run into a little bit of issues and make it a little bit harder for yourself so now we're going to try and put impaling onto this book which is going to turn out to 49 levels a lot of xp but hopefully saving us some work in the future all right so this book is now finished all right so here we go with critical and luck and then we're going to do the same thing and add first strike and lifesteal onto it all right, and that book's done as well. Anyway, let's see how much the first book requires. I'm guessing somewhere 57. Okay, I was going to say 40, but all right, 57. So 57 levels coming up. All right, so 57 levels and there we go. First one's on. Now let's get our second book out. 42 levels, even easier. How nice. Now the end story with this book, since we got the levels, boom, there we go. So the next we require 57 levels. Not bad at all. That's actually relatively easy. I'm not going to lie. There we go, and now we have one final book left. Let's see, I'm guessing this will probably require level 70. Holy, oh my gosh, I was so wrong, 48? That is insane, dude. Now, the final book, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm a half level behind. I completely forgot. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Now, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The final book. Boom, boom, boom. And we have a perfect end sword. We can compare this to my spicy aspect of the dragons, and um, it is crazy. It is definitely awesome. My aspect of the dragons actually is missing a few enchantments, like the venomous I can already see. This one's missing the thunderlord, but like I said, for our purposes, we don't really need thunderlord or fire aspect. Also, knockback's missing, but who the heck wants knockback? But yeah, that's how you can easily make a perfect sword without going over. I think level 70 was the highest we ever had to reach. I could be wrong, so I don't know what the exact title of this video is going to be, but yeah, that's how you do it. Pretty easy, pretty simple, not too hard. A link down below in the description to the spreadsheet. Also, huge shout out to Antonio for making this a little bit of a guide. Pretty much followed his guide and he did really good. So huge shout out to him. Thank you so much for the guide and it works amazingly. My aspect of the dragons, I had to easily reach over level 100 and this, I never had to go over level 100. You guys might be thinking, well, you did have to get like level 70, level 50, level 40 a couple of different times, which is true, but it's much easier to hit level 70 a couple of times than it is to hit 150 one time you get what i'm saying it's really easy to level up to a single level multiple times but once you get into the hundreds it's taking ages to level up anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and i hope you guys have a great day i'll talk to you guys later goodbye